Yep. Back out. Ooh. Well, what I'm doing this time, I'm in the lakes. I've come to the Kirkstone Pass. That's where I'm parked. Down there. Been to that car park. I think everybody's on the other side. There's nobody seems to be up here. You can see why. Steep I'll climb this. Can't actually find the path. So I've been up before and I know you've got to go up there. And then I'm gonna go for a wander, miles, and hopefully get out of the wind. We're forecast quite strong winds, heavy rain. Usual, you know. The usual. But I oh know I said it in the last video. I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be put off by the wind. I did say it would be my last windy camp, that last one, but I'm back. Talk about rubbish. I just say stuff. Just ignore everything I say because it's all crap. Change my mind the next day. Alright, I'm gonna push on up here. <sighs> Steep this like I remember this. <sighs> this is what I've got to climb up. I don't even know where the path is. Well, so you gotta just make your own path. If I could come back when I get a bit further up, you don't have to walk far to get those views. So I'm heading off into the gloom. If it's passing cloud like this, it's okay. You get the odd sight of a good view. But if you get clagged in, it's a bit of a nightmare. But this is what you do. This is the chance you take. That's a nice view, though, isn't it? Down there. All right, press on. Only done half a mile. Well, I'm nearly two miles in. I haven't got far to go. Just over that way somewhere. Took a little detour to this monument. I can't read the stone. I can't read it. That one, William William Ion Atkinson died the second of April '87, aged 83 years. So that's his son. That's gonna be from whenever. God, I don't know who these people are. Anybody shed any light on this eerie carry on? It's in the middle of nowhere. Middle of nowhere. Walked for miles, it feels like miles. It feels like a long walk that I've done. There's more there's more monuments over there like with with like name plaques on them. I don't know what's went on. It's mad. I'm nearly my final destination though. That. 
So on the map over there it's called John Bell's Banner. No idea. And then it just said Monument. That looks like it's been here a long time that. Get a photograph of that. So come along here. See this this is the top. Stony Cove Pike. There's no real like cairn or marker. On the map, it said that's the top there. <laughs> I'm in a world of shit, because the weather's terrible. Windy, man. I have to find somewhere out of the wind. Luckily, there's walls and can't let me get behind a wall. We'll have a look. Look at the scenery, though. there 763 meters at exactly there Ken over there's High Street and uh, all them kids they pipe load pot Ugh. I'm gonna go over by this big wall here see if I can get behind that because I need to get out that wind like it's a flipping nightmare just for a change it's windy just for a change I'm not going to let it get us down though, you know, I'm just glad to be up here. It was a quite easy walk. It wasn't, uh, it's only that first little bit that was scrambly, but that's not. Just take your time. The rocks are a bit slippy. But as long as you take your time, that was a nice walk, right? It's only two miles. With a little detour. Alright, so I'm going to see if I can find some over here. It's calming down as I get lower. Just looking for a flat bit and look at that it's opened up the sun's just hitting all them mountains that's amazing that is amazing that's why i like the lakes views like that look at this huh. there's ulls water in the distance struggling to find a flat bit like but I'll keep looking well here we are made the most of a bad job come down off the uh, the tops right up there drop down a bit and it's kind of sheltered and inside there is a lovely like dish so I can sleep in the dish it's lovely it's comfortable it's this long tufty grass you know and it's nice and comfy it's like a it's like a double mattress. Double mattress! There's the tent anyway. This is quite wide, isn't it? See that side's getting blown in. But it doesn't matter because the poles don't don't go over like that. So that the pole can't break. It can't break. It can only get pushed in. It's good design. Like, I think MSR elixirs do that. Somebody says, does the pole not go over the top of the tent? No, it's the hub system, it's inside. It's all inside. And there's one thing I forgot to mention is you can't pitch this in a first because the um, the poles go in. Then you just put the fly sheet over um, and fasten it onto the, the ends of the poles in the little toggles. And then you can get in and put your inner tent up. So it is fly pitch first if you want it to be. So there you go. It's double, double everything. That's my little area of doom. So I'm gonna get my stuff set up and then I'll go around the tent and fine tune it because I'm expecting the wind to pick up and the rain to start. So I'm gonna shut the vents on the top for the rain. Hopefully it won't come in, but this is what I'm gonna try and find out. If it does come in, then Firemate will need to fix that, the vents, because it looks like the rain would come in there if the wind was blowing it in. It does actually look like that. But I'm going to find out. Hopefully not the hard way. 
Right, I'm gonna get in. It's rotten. The weather's awful. It's good. It just keeps clearing up though. The cloud keeps passing and you get good views, but mm, it's a bit clagged. A bit socked in, I think they say in the mountains. Socked in. Alright, get this gear set up. Two, not even two minutes, not even a minute. Now then, now then, guys and gals. Um, oh, I've got the tent set up. I've changed into me um, dry, dry layers. I changed my base layers just because of the sweat. Always a good idea. Get your dry clothes on. Got my coat here if I need to put it on. I've got some heated gloves. Good these gloves, like. Don't need them yet, but they are good. Um, hold on, I'll just spin you around. That's the view I've got. Like I say, it keeps opening up, but it's mainly closing down. I'm expecting rain soon, like. Well, this is gonna be a good test of the rain for the tent. Oh. So, what I've got is a light to a mat. The Kweezer summer bag and the quilt, which I used last week, it was nice and warm. Well, if it was staying on, I've tied it at the bottom so it stays on. The flex tail pillow, the most comfortable pillow in the world, bar none. Absolutely brilliant that pillow. The scent is a little, uh, a little gadget as well. I just find it. The scent a little gadget. A little mini torch. It's dead bright. It's unbelievably bright. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's called zero torch. A, a tiny little, tiny little pocket torch from Flextail. We'll come out later on. See how bright it is. It's mad. It's got strobe mods. Everything. So just Turn it off. Ugh, got epilepsy. And it comes in a little hard case. Oh, a little hard case. A little protective case. And so you just slide it in. Where's my assistant? To do the filament. And you just slide it in. A little hard case. Mint like. It's dead bright. We'll come back later on it when it's dark. I'll show you how bright it is. It's mad actually crazy and of course I've got this I'm just charging this up that's the light in here oh I've got a radio is playing so good it's not Craig Charles it's um what do you call him Stuart McCorney he's sitting in for Craig Charles Craig's off for a week two weeks tonight's tea pork sausage in and beans in tomato sauce another ration pack do you know why right I just need to get rid of them. I need to use them up. And I can't be bothered to cook anything. I just came away to chill out. And that's what I'm planning to do. So, the wind's blowing. But, like, at the beginning, I showed you I'm down in the dip. So that's really protecting us. That that, um, that wall in the, the hill back of there. I've come down a bit, so that's really protection. I'm still get the odd gust, but it's not anything like what it is up there. It's wild up the top. And uh, yeah, we're just sitting tight, waiting for the rain. Oh, I've got some beers. Hazy uh, AF, right? AF doesn't stand for what you think it does. It stands for alcohol free. Yes, I'm still off the beer. I've got four of them. It's four of them. But it's nearly the end of October. I've done the whole month without uh, alcohol, so gear for me. Year for me, yeah. Good for friggin' me. So on the 1st of November, I can go on crazy. I'll drink the whole bottle of Lagavulin that I bought. 
I won't. I'm going to cut right back on the beer. I might have said this already. But I'm going to cut right back on the beer. So on camps, I'm just going to bring um, maybe three cans of normal, like, you know, 330ml can. Um, and just, like, you know, cut right back. This is no good for you, like. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm all for having a drink, like, but on the camps, you know, you've got to keep a clear head and in the morning you've got to be ready to drive. You can't, um, you can't drive till later on if you're over the limit, you know, you can be over the limit in the morning, especially the amount I drink. That's why I always pack away late and like, I've gone down and I'll have a long walk back and then I'll sit in the car for about a, a good hour and a half. Now that I've got the van, I can have myself a cup of coffee and a little kip if I want. It's good for that. But, yeah, I've decided I'm, I'm, uh, Oh, I've, I've drank all my life, you know what I mean, and it's it's time that I cut down. But like I say, I will still have a few beers, like you know, of the odd, the odd little occasion. Oh, I just pop my head out. All right, so I shouldn't get disturbed down here. I think the paths are all up there behind us, the back of there. So yeah. We're all cinched in, I've got the guy lines tight, everything's fastened down, this tent's standing well. There's a hideous monster in the tent. I think that's called a shield bug, so we'll have him out. Come on, let go. They're pretty things, like, if I can focus on it. You get all different colours. Oh, shield a bug. Bug off. Here comes the rain then. It's about half an hour late. And the wind as well. All oh, cinched in. It's nice and cosy when you're cinched in. Almost lying on the top of the mat. Just waiting for the water to start pouring in the vents. That's the vent there. That's the other one. Then we'll see. I've closed them, so it should be okay. We'll find out. Not coming in though, so that's good. That's the that's the point. I think it's going to come in there, but it's not that side as well. So far, so good. Look at it just beading off. It's just beading down there. Jolly good. Let's hope it stays that way. <laughs> it's supposed to be nice tomorrow when I get up. Here is above the rain. That's just a little, a little splash here. I don't know where that's come from. It's not coming in though. It's not that. Yeah, it's not getting in.
still not leaking though. Tiny, tiny bit there. The tiniest couple of drips there. Nothing like what I was expecting. That's proper heavy rain that. That's real. That's none of your fancy rain. That's proper rain. And it's not getting in at all. And it's holding up to the wind as well. So there you go. I'll stop going on about it now. So, what I'm going to do is, while I'm just 10 pound, because I am 10 pound, I'm going to try this. Um, here's the AF. Now, like I said, AF stands for alcohol free, not what you're thinking. I normally drink the um, the Hazy Jane, so this is this would be a good comparison. Be better than the other one. Can't be any worse than that other one. So, ooh, that smells like a proper IPA. That look at the look at the um, lens, not the screen. Screen lens. Gotta get used to that. Right. That smells like a proper tropical IPA that so Oh actually that's quite nice. Mmm that just tastes like normal It tastes like something else. You know when you <laughs> You know when you get a starfish, right? A chocolate starfish and you melt it into coffee and then you crumble in some biscuits rich tea biscuits I would say well it's nothing like that it's more like um, if you get a pomegranate and set fire to it and then take it up the street dressed as a ballerina that's kind of what it tastes like. A pomegranate dressed as a ballerina. Actually quite nice that. I'm having that. Oh yeah, that's nice that. That is definitely, that really is quite nice that. Love, love that one. Mmm. I've got, I've got another three. I've got another three of them. Alright, uh, so the weather's not letting up. I'm hoping by nine o'clock, nine o'clock it's off. That's what time it's predicted. But we'll see. I'm gonna get me. Um, I'm gonna get my bait on now. So I got a shout out of Stuart McCorney sitting in for Craig Charles. Here's my kitchen. So I'm gonna get a uh, shout out. Gonna get me um, my pan fired up. And that's it, really. It's nice that beer, though. Oh, I can't see it. I can't get my hand. I can't get my head around this camera. Apologies for all the movement around. I just don't know what I'm doing. I'll get used to it. I'll get Chris from MCM Outdoors to show us how to use it when I meet up with him. Just having my tea. Boiling air. Low gas. Just let it simmer away. Water's up about here. Just push the packet in. That's all I can do really. I'm still liking this. Second can. Mm-hmm. When it starts steaming like that, drop the heat. That's gonna have hellish condensation now. It's gonna be awful the condensation. <sighs> Gotta do it though, can't have the door open. Just have to be wet. It's alright. 
getting worse. It's blowing a gale both sides now. I think the wind's turned. It was forecast to turn and come into this way now. So I think it's um, it's blown round. It's going round and I think a vortex. But it's still there's a little bit of water. There's a couple of drips on that. But that's it. Considering how hard the rain's been, I think that's now that. It's nothing. I'm stuck in this quilt. It's lovely and warm, this. I'll tell you what it is, I didn't usually know, use this, but this is really nice and warm. I'm very surprised at this. It's lovely. Dead cosy. Let me see. A little bit of water. It just drips though, you know. It's now major. Let's see if I can find any. There's nothing major coming in. It's not like pouring in. It's just the odd drip. Just making. And that's it. Just there though. Things flying in. Oh dear. Oh, I'm just gonna sit it out. It's meant to stop soon. Nine o'clock or something like that. Nine, half nine. And then it's meant to be like clear skies. So, so far the weather's been accurate. So I'm hoping it's gonna be even more accurate and this will stop and I can maybe get out. Still hasn't leaked. Well, oh dear. I think it's um, it's letting a bit of water in. Ugh. But you have a look. Oh, these things are flying around. It's coming from here. Look. So I think a bit of seam sealer on there. I'll sort that out but when you consider that rain's been battering the tent for like the last three hours I mean that's I'm amazed more hasn't come in to be fair so that's a weak spot there because there's a flap there isn't there the flap on the other side so that's where the water's coming in because it doesn't velcro down all the way so fire maple you need to sort that flap out so it belt goes down better but that's the only thing that's the only place it's coming in just do the seam of the zip just um, seam seal it will do that just never let any water in that's dry I thought that's where the water would have come but it didn't so ah oh dear I'm just waiting for it to go off I can't hear the radio for the blooming noise. Still enjoying my beer. Oh dear. Hey. I hope the forecast's right. It's going to stop in about half an hour or so. It's just the noise now. It's really loud. Ugh. Keep it warm in here. Keep the gloves are keeping us warm. It's all good. But yeah, just that. That flap. I'll show you in the morning what I mean about the flap. And I've got some lights tomorrow. And that's why the water's coming in there. It'll probably be the same on this side, yeah. It's because the Velcro patches are there holding it down but they really need to be like more of them you know it needs to be a, a bigger storm flap not to worry it's nothing uh, 
it's nothing major. It's nothing John Major, so I'm happy with that, like, happy with it. And you can hear about how bad the rain is, it's biblical. So, like I say, I'm surprised more hasn't come in, to be fair, like. You know, daddy long legs in here, they're flying around, I'm all trying to get out of the blooming weather. It's even too wild for the insects. <laughs> yeah, I don't get the radio back on, if I can hear it. Rain's finally stopped. So what we've got is yes, right here. This is the weak spot. That's where it's been coming in. So fire maple, do your stuff. You want well, you want that seam sealed. You want some more velcro there. Baby's bit longer bits to keep it down the wind was just blowing it up and uh, the water was getting in. Not enough velcro on it. Which, other than that, I mean, look at that up. That hasn't got in. The rain was driving that way. It was absolutely driving. I was hammering. I've never known rain like that for a long time. But look at that. It's not out of shape. It's beating off. Well done, well done, tent. I was expecting it to leak, like worse than it did, but it didn't, it really didn't. So, well done, and top marks. I'm getting it back in because it's too cold. Hope we get some stars out. The wind wanted to drop a little bit more. Very, very cold. Oh. Get back in. Oh, it's picking it up, but there is the red glow of the aurora now. Can you believe the weather? <laughs> Crazy. It's still a little bit breezy, but nothing like it was before. Ah, the aurora. It's out there. All its red glory. Mad. Mad weather. I just don't understand what's up there. There's a picture of it that I managed to capture. Flipping heck, man. And they were living crazy times. Have a look at this. How bright this torch is. If I can find it. Just uh, So here we are. You double click the top. Double click the top, right? That lights it up. And then you double click the bottom for the mode. Look how bright it is. That's mad. Got such a little unit. Look at the size of it. Tiny. Casts a beam. Casts a light for flipping. So bright that. Flextail Zero Torch. Good. Just stick it in your pocket. You don't even know it's there. It's got not enough. It's not picking that up, is it? Out there. Morning fans of rain. Look. Scenes. What's that? Looks like a nuclear explosion. Let's finally press the button. Tent was awesome, right? I'm not gonna lie. I thought it was gonna leak badly. It's only that there. It's a little weak spot. But if I seem to seal that on the other side, on both sides really, 
Not on that level. Water in. That was mad, that, that rain. I've never experienced rain like that for such a long time. That was wild, right? I defy most tents not to leak in that weather. The wind was hitting that side, battering it. And the rain was hammering. And there was just a few little drips going through that zip. Excellent. Well played, fire maple. I'm not just saying this, the evidence was all there. Showed you all the, the wet bits. Right. So this is the view. Clocks went backwards, didn't they? So I'm, uh, I've laid in. I've, plus I didn't get much sleep because I was cold. It's time for the uh, winter bag to come out. That the Queezer summer bag is done. Over there, right, it's kids to pike. You see the, um, like the pointy bit. See where you can see that point. I've had a tent right there. Mad, that not it? Over there's thresh weight. I don't know if you can see the giant trig point. It's huge, massive, big trig. It's about eight foot tall. Thresh weight. Oh, right, I'm gonna get the kettle on, warm up a bit, and then get packed away. It's not that wet either, look. It's pretty dry. Well, that is soaking actually. That's that is really to be expected after all that rain. <laughs> right, okay, kettle time. Beautiful blue sky. And that's my patch of flat grass. Oh, runny flat grass. You know the one. Snooper player. Ah, oh, yeah. Well, that was one hell of a night. I hope you enjoyed that video. Laughing at my misery. The tent was awesome. Like I say, just them little bits need seam sealing, and that's a good tent. That like oh, that wind was that wind was strong, you know. The rain was hammering. I've never known rain like that for a long time. But this is the view I'm going to leave you with, and I'm also going to leave you with some words of wisdom. I've been around the world tonight, eight eight. I can't find me baby. And that was Bon Scott from Led Zeppelin. So if you've enjoyed this video, pop up your thumb. If you didn't enjoy it, give it a thumbs down. And then stick it up. Yeah, oh, that's <laughs> That's it, so we'll see you on the next one. Whenever, wherever. <laughs> oh man, how are you? Enough.